Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. This is going to be my final shave in Australia on video or on camera for YouTube before we fly out to Glasgow and then on to Canada at the end of this week. It's just mainly because I'll be packing everything away, the house will be a bit upside down and yeah, that's just how it is. But I'm going to be using a cracking soap today. Probably the, I think it's probably the longest serving soap in the den to be honest. Actually it's not, Parasol is Parasol Green. But this one is Wickham 1912 and it's Club Cola. Now the scent on this one has dissipated quite a bit since I got it, but it's still strong enough that you can smell it. It sits around about a three in scent strength. This one hasn't been used for a little while. You can probably see the silt, the gap just around the edge there. It's shrunk a little bit. But this one is Club Cola. It smells very much to my nose like fizzy cola bottles. And it's an absolutely brilliant scent and a great performing soap. The brush for today is going to be my Craving Shaving Siri brush. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the colours in this brush actually came from the Siri logo from Apple. And I do not think it could have done a better job with it, to be honest. The knot in it is a 24mm, I think, or a 26mm Dura knot from PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. There is his little coin at the bottom there, which I really like, the smaller coin, I think it's lovely. It lets you see more of the base of the brush. And if you use it, if you're getting a brush that's got a lot of clear in it and things and you want to see through it, the smaller coin allows you to see more through the base. Beautiful brush, it really is. I've got my sink filled up. I'm just going to put some water into the brush. And here we go, let's load this up. Now this soap has been in my den since 2016, December 2016. It's now 2019. These soaps have a 12 month shelf life. So this is quite clearly shows you that the shelf life on there is really only there for government regulations, I believe. Soap is soap. This stuff will last until it dies, until it's finished. It may not have much scent by the end. Just dip in the tips. Don't know what the dogs are barking at. Or the dog. The fact that the other one's not barking means there's nothing outside. <laughs> I'm going to really load this brush super heavy today. I'm going to be doing a head and a neck shave. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the holiday. We had a massive, not massive, but a bit of a headache with the flights. All the flights got changed and the flights were absolute garbage, they really were. Right, just going to scoop that one there, I'm going to scoop all the soap out the tub and off the tub. Yeah, they changed all the flights and I tell you what, it was panic stations because it was literally causing issues with all the, the car hires and everything else. And what actually happened was, for those of you that are unaware, there was a company over here called Best Check. I think it was a worldwide company actually. A company you could buy tickets from worldwide. Now I purchased my flights through Skyscanner this time around. I normally always purchase through Emirates because there's never much of a difference. They're very much like Apple in terms of the flights as Apple are with the products. You pay the same with Apple as you do in, in the stores. But these flights came up a bit cheaper. The alarm bells didn't ring because obviously through Skyscan and things, you generally tend to think companies are going to be legit and be honest and all that sort of thing. So ordered the flights. On Skyscan, I've saved a few hundred bucks. Brilliant, typical Scotsman, happy man, happy days. And then in December, the company that we got the tickets through, the flights through, basically took all the money and declared bankruptcy and did a runner took millions and as a result there was a lot of flights, not mine, but a lot of people were left flightless altogether and had to sort of go through, I don't know how it worked, but they had to sort the flights out another way. So it was a real headache and I suppose quite scary for a lot of people because a lot of people have put a lot of money into the flights. I mean, for us, you're talking nearly $10,000 for five people to fly to and from the UK to Glasgow. 10,000 Australian. 
But anyway, my flights were fine, her flights were fine, they were all sorted. I confirmed it with Emirates, they were all in place. And then somewhere along the line, Emirates decided to change our flights. Now I always pay more to get the two hour stopover in Dubai. We fly straight to Dubai and then on to Glasgow. Because the stopovers are either two hours or two and a half hours or like 13 hours. And there's no way in hell I am sitting in an airport with three young children for 13 hours. And that was pretty much both flights. In fact, the flight on the way back from the UK that they'd given us had us arriving in Dubai at seven in the morning to catch the connecting flight on the same morning at 2.45, five hours before we land. So figure that one out. But anyway, long story short, well, you've heard the whole long story. That's the brush, look at that. I've left this ladder thicker because I've shaved my head. Long story short, the flights are all good now. They've been confirmed. We fly out in at pretty much better times than what we originally had, which is great. I've arranged to meet, hopefully, Kevy Shaves. Oh, Kevy boy. I think on the... 13th of July or something like that. I'll go up and have a coffee and I'll probably go to the gentleman's groom room on the same day if I can. Hopefully it's open then. That's the plan. Oh, sorry. The razor is the coals. Five blade razor. Great little razor. Nice and smooth. I'm not going to talk too much about the shaving stuff because if you want to find out my thoughts on all of these products, hardware and software, there's a ton of videos on my channel. I'm just going to ramble on and talk shit and give you a bit of peace of my life. So yeah, so hopefully meet up with Kerry. I'm taking him over a few packs of blades. I've got some vintage super spoilers, super stainless, the spoilers. And also some of the Aussie ones that are behind me, the Gillette super stainless. Australian bland, bland Australian made ones. I don't know why I've changed the way I shave my head at the moment. I sort of start on one side, work all the way around and then do the top. I've never done that before, it just seems to be a recent thing. So I'll meet up with Kevy, hopefully go to the gentleman's room and pick up a few other bits and bobs. I have already got stuff waiting for me over in Canada with Carmine from Top of the Chain. I'll also be meeting up with. It'll be a, it'll be a fleeting meeting. Uh, we don't really have, sadly, too much time. To sort of stop and say hello. The plan was to try and get a meeting or a meet up or a shavers meet up when we were in Canada. But there's just no, we just don't have the time. It is for my wife's forties, so my wife takes priority over anything shaving related, sadly. <laughs> I say sadly, but I'd like to think you're all the same. So the next trip, major trip, will probably be for my 40th, which is five years away from now. I don't know what we're doing, but I'm thinking, I don't really, I really, actually, I really don't know. Pretty much all the soap. Wow. Well, I don't know what's happened here. It's very rare. In fact, I say it's very rare, I think it's probably the first time. I've got a BBS head shave in one go. Stragglers there. That's it. Holy shit. 
Are a good rinse out. Now, the other person I'm hoping to meet up with is Sean Mullen from Moyle Grooming. Oh, it's hot. got a couple of products over there for me to pick up which I was going to post out, it takes ages to post so it's going to send them up, well, going to hand them to me in person hopefully that's the plan just giving this mirror a quick wipe down right, let's wipe my neck yes, he's got a couple of bits so the plan is, hopefully we can meet up and have a, a nice dinner or something one night in Toronto which would be lovely with him and his wife don't think, I think from memory, Sean doesn't actually have any kids, jamming it. And as much as I wouldn't change anything, but they do make life hectic, busy, very, very expensive. I mean, it's sort of strange. I mean, we probably wouldn't, but <laughs> without kids in the positions that me and my wife are and the money that we make and how well we do, We'd be flying bloody first class most places every couple of years and really living to the best of our ability. Oh, mainly down to the wife, to be honest. Got a couple of bits of blood on my head, I can feel just a little bit of a, a bit of irritation on the back, which is fine, that's understanding. Right, here we go. I've got the cut off Christopher Bradley razor with a double A plate, which is really minimal blade gap. You can see there, there's hardly any blade gap at all. Very, very mild, but all my other plates have packed away. And I have an Australian Super Stainless. Vintage blade, which is one of the ones that's hanging up behind me in this razor. I think this is a third shave on it. Now, even though this is a very mild plate, it's still very efficient. because it is very mild, you can put a little bit of pressure on and not worry about it chewing you to bits, cutting all your face up. I should be back, and, excuse me, and we're back. So that's the first pass done. Now one thing I'm finding at the moment with these shaving salts, and you guys all know that I've overhydrated salts. I love making a voluminous lather, as in massive. But what, what I do sometimes is I over, water the soap or over water the lather and what happens then is you lose all the critical components of the lather the slickness the density for the cushion all those parts and you also lose a little bit of scent as well because you water it down so much now what i'm finding at the moment is because i'm doing mainly my neck i don't mess around making such a voluminous lather and what it's doing is it's offering me a really, really slick experience with most soaps. All right, I'm back. I'm just going to re a little bit here because that was my daughter ringing me, looking for some information on a dance shop. <coughs> so why not add some more ladder? So yeah, definitely receiving better shaves. Now that I'm using a slightly thicker ladder. Now, as you can see, it's definitely not 
Paul H. Thick. But it definitely makes a difference with sleepness. It makes my favourite soap, Noble Otter, incredibly slick and it brings Wickham up to a higher level as well. It brings Wickham up to a level where most soaps that I hydrate a lot, like I used to, it brings it up there. Because Wickham 1912 is quite an old soap base now. Darren from Wickham has been const consistently saying that he's going to be bringing out a new Super smooth formula. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't really seen much happening with Wickham really, in all, in all honesty. But I have sort of not distanced myself from the shaving community, but I had to take a step back from YouTube because it was just too much. There was just so much crap coming through on my feed all the time. Not crap, but just things that I didn't need to see all the time. So I'm much more selective. And what I actually have on my Facebook now. I'm only, I'm only a member of two or three shaving groups now, two of which are Australian. And I've got my own group, another cut above, which I don't interact with much, but I do try and interact as best I can. And if any questions, I pop them on there. And it's slowly growing, with thanks to Kenny Kirkup. Get the soap out this brush. Ken Kirk up, those of you who don't know, is Ken Surfs from YouTube. Lovely, lovely guy. And his, his actual YouTube channel has grown massively in the three years that I've been watching him. He does a lot more than just shave. He's very much like Paul H. His actual shaving videos don't really differ too much to my own, but he puts a lot more effort in with taking videos all over the place as well. And Showing his pinball machines travelling around the around the country. Just gonna the soap out now. But he's the one that sort of built up the channel, uh, the you the Facebook side of things for me. He's the one that actually put in the time, believe it or not. It's just really, really kind of him. And Surprisingly, it gets quite a few posts on there. There's quite a few pop on there, quite regular. Right, what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to grab this. I normally do this off camera, but I'm just going to do it on camera today. This is the Above the Tie Calypso R1. And what I use this for is just shaping around here just a little bit better. You won't see it on camera because I can't. I've got to really look close, but I do want to just do this now. shave done and dusted i'm going to finish off now with wickham 1912 club cola aftershave balm now this balm is super it really is i don't know how darren's made it there's not a lot of it it's very light it's 50 ml so all you do is you pump it out now this hasn't been used for a while so i'm expecting a bit of a clog oh, maybe not oh it's still got the scent the scent's still booming i'm just going to pop just a couple of little in fact i may as well just do my neck now and then head oh wow yeah the scent the scent on the balm reminds me very much of the scent from the silk when I first got it really strong around about a five or a six but the wonderful thing about this balm is it's more like a feels more like a jelly in your hand it's not a balm like a cream like a white cream and when you put it on, it absorbs very quickly and then it leaves your skin feeling like satin, silky smooth, but moisturized at the same time. Really, really nice. So the soap today was Wickham 12, Wickham 12, Wickham 1912, Club Cola, which looks like that. This one's got a good dent in it now, but there's still shit, probably another two years worth of soap in there for me. 
the amount of soaps that I've got. The brush always performs exceptionally well. I love the knot, I love the handle, it's got great weight, it's good hefty handle and it's been turned beautifully. There's no no marks on it all, no tooling at all and it's just a beautiful colour combo, I love it. Right up my alley from Craving Shaving. Head on over to Etsy if you want to have a chat with him. I'm pretty sure he does custom stuff as well. If you just message him, he'll do your custom one as well, I think. But he does have quite a lot of drops as well. There's a lot of brushes pop out there. This one for me is just absolutely superb and I do reach for it quite regularly. The razor for the head shave was the Coles five blade razor. As you can see, it's nice and cleaned out, which is pretty good. And I tell you what, it was the quickest head shave I've done with a cartridge razor. There was hardly any touch ups. Well, you watched it, you know hardly any touch-ups or pickups to do with it. Oh, that's like silk, it really is like silk. Love this bar. And a BBS head shave, so beautiful. Um, no real irritation, no nothing. There was a little bit of blood on the back, just a couple of little bits, but that's all gone now, there's no, no blood, it's all dried. Um, it's now moisturised anyway. For the face shave, it was the Carve, let me just rinse that, a bit of shit on it. The Carve Christopher Bradley razor. In brass with a three inch handle, which is the original razor that I bought. It does have the double A plate on here because I packed the C plate away for my holiday. And it's just a stunning razor. It shaves better than anything I've ever used before cartridge or DE, single edge, straight, you name it, when it comes to my neck and my face. It just shaves beautifully smooth and comfortable with very, very minimal irritation. And uh, I, I can't talk highly enough of it. I cannot wait to get my hands on a stainless version. I really can't. And even the aluminium one looks great. I think along with a lot of people, one thing that Chris really needs to, to work on on his next razor is getting rid of these tabs. In my opinion, they're no longer required in this day and age. I don't, they were there obviously years ago, so you can get a hold of it when you're taking the cap off, but you don't really need it. It's, I mean, you look at that, well that one doesn't cover it either, but razors that I've had before that cover up the tabs don't affect taking the blades out and, and doing things. All it does is it gives you a lot more security under the nose, around the back of the ears if you shave your head. It just gives you a lot more control and comfort with it, knowing that you're not going to slice your face up or your nose up with the edges of the blade. So that's something it is going to work on in the next one, I'm aware. And that'll be version two. I don't know whether the head shape will change much, but it'll probably lengthen at least. That'll be the bare minimum of what will happen. I finished off today with Wickham 1912 Club Cola. Beautiful balm, it really is, and the scent on that is lasting superbly well. That's about a year and a half old now, that balm. God, do you know something? It's really strange thinking in June this year, that'll be three years since my very first double-edged razor wet shave and the beginning of the channel. So it'll be a three-year anniversary in June. Wow, can't believe it. Unreal. And almost 900 videos in three years, which is pretty uh, horrendous. Anyway, that's me done and dusted. Like I say, this is the last video until I go on holiday. I am going to try my best to keep videos rolling while I'm on holiday and actually have them uploading while I'm there because I've got Wi-Fi at all the Airbnbs, Wi-Fi at my mum's, I'll have full, I think I've got unlimited data when I'm in Canada as well from the SIM card that I just purchased. So I should be able to do it on the fly wherever I am and hopefully pop another some extra videos on there, some extra things to go along with it as we travel on our journey around Canada for nearly just over two weeks. And yeah, so... Everyone, enjoy yourselves. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys, probably in Scotland. See you later. Cheers.